person turns away from God, unrepentant sinning, after being saved, well, they lose their salvation. And that has come in just a number of times. Another person writes, does Grace Church believe in eternal security? Uh, or is there in your doctrinal statements a belief in falling, about falling out of salvation? Um, this question probably comes up more than any other. In fact, I've written a, about a two-page uh, piece on this one that we give out to all of our membership classes. And if you'd like to get a copy of that, feel free to, to, uh, 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 to write us and we'll send that to you. But let me just uh, say a couple of things on, on this topic. Um, that James says in James chapter, chapter two, we know that we're saved by faith. Like, in Christ alone, that we're, it's not by what we do, it's, it's a, a faith not works, but it's a faith that works, has been said. And James says in James chapter two, he says, that faith without works is, is dead, right? So if I say I put my trust in Christ and there's zero life change, I need to question the authenticity of my faith. And the other one that would be in Matthew chapter seven, and these are sort of frightening words, I think you could say, but it's right at the end of the Sermon on the Mount and, and Jesus is speaking and he says this in Matthew chapter seven. Um, he's talking about the foolish and the wise builders and, and Jesus says this in, in verse 21. He says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did, did we not prophesy in your name and, and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. That's a, that's a bit of a scary passage, isn't it? So I think, I think if we were to hold this in balance, we would say a couple of things. If there's a person who says, I put my trust in Jesus, he's working in my life, occasionally, you know, I, I lose my temper, or I've looked at something on the computer I shouldn't, or something like that, uh, I must have lost myself. We'd say, no, 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 no. If you've truly put your trust in Jesus and you're following him, uh, we know that until you get to heaven, you'll not be free completely from the presence of sin. But there will become a greater growing in likeness to Christ the fruit of the spirit of love and joy and peace, and you're gonna be honoring him more and more. You can be secure, he's adopted you as part of his family. You don't have to worry that you mess up and he's like, out of here. Just like I would never say that to my child when they disappoint me and, and they're way past curfew or they say something to Mary that I'm like, I can't believe they just said that. I wouldn't go, you're no longer my daughter. I wouldn't say that. On the other hand, if a person says, I put my trust in Jesus and... Um, you know, when I was seven years old and now the guy's having his seventh affair and uh, he shows no regard for the things of God, but he goes, oh, but I, I know I'm going to heaven because when I was seven years old, I, I, I prayed a prayer. I say, wow, faith without works is dead. And Jesus said, a lot of people are gonna say, Lord, Lord, but only those who do the will of the Father in heaven. In other words, if there's a pattern of sin in your life that you go, I don't care about that, I make no effort to change with the power of the Holy Spirit. I am not going to give you assurance that, oh, absolutely, you're gonna be in heaven someday. What we would say is this, if you're not living the kind of life that Jesus wants you to live, rather than saying you're out of the family or you're in the family, we would just say, you need to turn back to Jesus. You need to repent. You need to do a U-turn and begin following him again, and when you do, if you stay close to him, you're on the journey with him, you can have absolute assurance that if you're genuinely saved, you are saved forever. And so um, some people, sometimes what's called the reformed group will say, if you've trusted Christ and at some point you walk away, you never were saved. Arminians, the other side, say if you were following Christ and you fell away, that you were a Christian, but then you no longer are. We would just say the Bible's not super clear on that, uh, but the, the, what it is super clear on is if you're not following Jesus, get, get right with him and uh, just surrender your, your life, yourself uh, freshly to him and, and you can have assurance that you'll be with him forever in heaven.